Hey, this is Jake with uh, MacHeads101. This is going to be the 11th Java tutorial, and today I'm going to be talking about arrays. So what an array is, is it's something that can hold a lot of data of related types, like the same uh, data type. Like it can hold ints, like a lot of ints, a lot of strings, but you can't be holding like three ints and a string and a cow with it. It doesn't work like that. So... Um, I'm not going to be building a program in this one. I'm just going to be demonstrating what an array is. So to make an array, first you do the data type of the array. So I'm going to make one of um, int. So int, and then you name it, but next to it you put these brackets. And that tells Java that you're going to be working with an array. And then in here, okay, so this is the type in i, which is just how you declare something. But these brackets, it means... Um, that you're going to be working with an array. And in here, you add all the stuff. So, like, it's in, so 1, comma, 3, comma, 6, comma, 19, comma, 5. Okay? And then that then your semicolon at the end, and it goes inside those curly braces. So, you made an array containing 1, 3, 6, 19, and 5. So, if I wanted to print out one of these... Um, what I would do is I and then in the brackets I type which one which which number in order now the numbering starts at zero so one is zero three is one um, if I did like two for example that would be six zero one two so the number in there is the number in the order here that um, in the order that you put them in. So that prints out 6 because that's 2. And 0, it starts at 0. That's going to be 1. The first element in the array is 0. And the second is 1. So um, now I'm just going to be doing something where I sum up all the elements in the array. So I'm going to make an int sum. That's going to be um, the sum of all of them. And we're going to make a for loop. So for int x equals 0. Um, x is less than i dot length, which is the length, oh, less than, which is the length of the array. So dot length means the length of the array. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So that's what it's going to mean. So it's going to be, you know, have our elements in the array. Um, and then, of course, x plus plus. Now, sum equals sum plus i and in here we're going to put x so this is how we um loop through the elements in the array and i didn't yet initialize sum which is the problem sum equals zero so it's going to be zero it's going to start at zero plus um the first one so it's going to start at zero and then x is going to be 0. So it's going to say, all right, sum, which is 1 plus 0 equals 1. Then this is, sum is going to equal 1, and it's going to um, go to 1, you know, i1, which is 3, i2, and it's going to add them all. It's going to sum them all up. So that's to demonstrate a little more. And I forgot to print it out. <laughs> then after this ends, sum. So it did all that, but it didn't show it, and I forgot that. All right, I'm I'm all over the place right now. So yeah, 34. That's all, all of them added together. So that is an introduction to arrays. Just uh, remember these little things when you're creating an array, um, and the little number in there is which one in the sequence you're going to be referring to and it starts as zero which is going to be confusing but you're just going to have to get used to it and dot length is the length of the array so yeah see you next time